Hello and welcome back to another 5 minute first impressions. I'm Anthony Malik and this is ReviewYour.Website, reviewing CoinCube.io. So it seems to be taking a little bit of time to load there. I love this little animation going on here and that comes in then again. So the first thing, obviously, that background image did take a good while to load, which um, it shouldn't really, especially when it's such a flat color um, and the details are so sparse. You should be able to compress that quite quite a good bit and um, to save that. Maybe that's just my internet connection, but it seems like it could be compressed a lot more. Um, overall, very quickly, CoinCube, I'm guessing, okay, Bitcoin trading, smart algorithmic Bitcoin trading, so I'm getting it's an automatic Bitcoin trading system or app. Um, I understand you use the choice of this kind of uh, uh, console looking um, font here. Okay, I get that. It, I suppose it, it does work, I guess. Um, I wouldn't be a big fan of it. It's not, I suppose it's not fashionable. It's not cool at the moment. But um, yeah, it just seems a little bit dated to me, but that, that is just my opinion. Um, now your logo over here, I think it's uh, kind of, has uh, it does irk me ever so slightly because these are these look like they, they could be pixels they're lined up like pixels and then you have this sub pixel area in here which is just kind of a little bit strange and then the overlap there is strange but um it is a it is a good logo actually it's simple i don't know if it kind of gets across the idea very well does it maybe it's an abstract kind of projection of a cube but um yep yeah, uh maybe something to do with bitcoin would make a bit of a, a better idea let's have a scroll down and see see how things go all right so we have a little bit of a okay we have this parallax effects going on i like the color scheme so far by the way um the gray the white the black and then this blue sets it off a little bit it's quite nice Um, discover yeah you see this font again it's just not really it's not jumping out at me i don't i don't feel very um taken by it uh discover smart methodology i don't think there's any point for these on the side there it is a large heading Um, possibly i would capitalize this and maybe um make it bold instead again this this horizontal rule here um it serves as a divider between your header and your content so at the moment these two headers are standing out on their own and don't really describe anything and feel disconnected from the rest of the content your logos here are quite nice i really like the blue um as i said before but they're working very well in this sense especially on the white background it's very nice safe api based okay so you're gonna have to watch your capitals here there's no capitals in any of these um and it just looks uh, amateur um i would possibly i would add a lot more uh, vertical spacing here between the lines as well and make the font bigger no font should be any smaller than 14 point really on a website like this uh wave again we have this horizontal room that's rule that's uh, uh cutting up your content here dividing your content and again no capital letters at the start although your logos are really nice your headers again no capital letters um no capital letters intelligent bitcoin exposure so we've changed it the way that we have you know we have this big header and then a horizontal rule and now we no longer have the horizontal rule the strategies so this line is far too long and um, you don't want any of your text lines going longer than uh, two and a half alphabets so if you were to type out a b c d e f g without any spaces and um, that'd only get to about here believe it or not and um, so what you want to do is make it a lot bigger um, increase the vertical spacing and possibly the um, and uh, and obviously sorry the the font size and margins on the side and um, that's just to help readability so we go down to this here okay it's funny that we have these four in a row and then we just have one uh, seems a bit strange live trading performance account number one uh, okay and this is the perform I'm not going to spend time looking at that live trading analysis so that I'm get, um, getting I'm kind of assuming this is some of the analysis you provide for people and um, your tables look all right but I would um, yeah it's just not jumping out at me uh, trade this gray is that the first gray horizontal rule we have you have discover um, I suppose you, you these are kind of header ones I suppose um, it's not flowing from header to content if you know what i mean uh, another four of them you're using a lot of logos here and i'm wondering are they necessary um your sign up button is all the way down the bottom as well what i would do is i'd throw that right up the top and put your call to action as, as close to the top as possible just to entice people in as easy as possible 
So continuing our review here of uh, CoinCube.io, we've got to, I think, our third larger heading. Okay, and I can see there's a very gray, very subtle gray background here in this uh, menu up here. I would make that a little bit more obvious because on my screen, <clears throat> maybe on your screen it has better color contrast, but my screen, it's almost unnoticeable. In fact, it may as well be unnoticeable. I'd make that a little bit more noticeable. And th also this gray here. It's so slight that it's um, it's almost like it feels like, um, have you ever got a migraine and you kind of see things that aren't there? Or it's like if you looked straight into a light for a while and you've got this weird kind of uh, uh, false kind of colors or something. That's kind of what it feels like to me. A little bit unnatural, I suppose. Um, so the team, again, I'm not a big fan of this and watch your capital letters. Um, Okay, photos here, Robert, Eric, Mad, and uh, Federico. Oh, there's a, quite a large team. Okay, so fair play to you. There's a lot of text here as well, um, and uh, I'm going to get to this in a minute, but this page, it's a one-page website so far, and it, it's very long. There's a lot of content. There's a lot of scrolling. Um, so your mission uh, obviously needs a little bit more here on its own. Bit of a useless section there. Um I mean this you know your, your design itself describes what your mission is you don't need to say that again email updates email updates okay this could do with a bit of work here something funny going on here so we have a number of centered elements we have uh, your icon email updates horizontal rule text box and subscribe button none of these are aligned in any sort of way I know they're centered but it's just not working here because we have this um, it's kind of an asymmetry of a kind of we're going out and then we're going back in it's just really not working um, what I would do is I would get rid of the horizontal rules first of all um, or possibly put the horizontal rules above and in between the major sections possibly even just use the horizontal rules instead of the grey uh, the grey thing here but I'd also make them thinner um, the thickness they are right now just isn't working with your um, with your text or possibly do you know what it, it's the gray here is not the same as the gray here and um, that could also be it um, so what I would do is I would uh, definitely absolutely make this subscribe button the exact same width as your uh, text box here because th at the moment the difference is so slight it doesn't really make a difference it doesn't sorry yeah it doesn't really make a difference whether you'd make it a little bit larger Um, that would definitely make things fit a lot nicer then what I would do is I would get rid of the horizontal rule here Um, obviously I'd get rid of these on the side but I'd also add capital letters Um, and then I would possibly I would so these would be aligned in some sort of center box let's say where my mouse is here um, and this would be as wide as this and I'd possibly align the email updates to the left as well um, but uh, that's obviously going to take a bit of playing uh, your footer at the bottom uh, small simple that's really uh, as far as it goes it's good I like your icons here they're very nice but again I would make the hover action a little bit more obvious um, but uh, for the moment that's quite nice uh, and the links are, are are working there lovely um, <clears throat> yeah so what I was going to say uh, before when I got here this is a very long page for a one page website there's a lot of content going on here so we do have a number of different uh, very distinct sections on the page so you do have discover trade about sign up login um, or, or discover and we go down to our, your team I would abstract these out into other pages there's really no need for your team to be in the same page or possibly have them on a on a um, uh, possibly do something smart with your UI here to to reduce this because it's a big chunk of content. Nobody's really going to read this if they're interested in using your product. I mean, they want to know that there's people behind it, but they don't care. At first glance, like ninety nine point nine percent of people aren't going to care what you your experiences are and um what colleges and where you come from so um i would reduce this a lot and abstract it to another page i would bring your uh i'd also in fact i'd try and reduce this a lot um and make a little bit more obvious and then i would put a call to action in the top and that would i think those three changes would um would make a big difference to this site so i hope you enjoyed this review um thanks for getting in touch and i'll see you again soon